Dude, I got time travel powers. What? How? I don't know. But never mind that. Now I can go back in time and kill my grandfather. <laughs> what? I want to go back and test the time travel theory of mine. Hear me out. If I travel back in time <laughs> to a point before my grandparents had met and then kill my grandfather, that would be messed up, right? Yeah, but... But if my grandparents never meet, they never have children. So I could have never been born. But if I was never born, I couldn't have gone back and killed my grandfather. I call it the grandfather paradox. Um, the grandfather paradox already exists. Wait, what? Someone beat me to it already? Yeah, by about 84 years. The first time it appeared was in Nathaniel Shackner's short story Ancestral Voices in 1933. Science fiction writers, philosophers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. then even scientists have debated about this paradox ever since. And one guy actually came up with a solution. Don't kill your grandfather? Well, you'd think that would be a no-brainer, but besides that, you can't kill your grandfather. In the mid-1980s, a Russian physicist, Igor Dmitrievich Novikov, put forward the idea that time is self-correcting and it doesn't allow for paradoxes to happen. Let's say that you did go back in time and tried to shoot your grandfather with a gun. First of all, that's stupid. Don't do it. Second of all, time would not let that happen, so whenever you would try to fire a bullet, the gun would get jammed. Fire a bullet in any other direction that would not affect the time stream and it would work perfectly. Your grandpa though, off limits. What if I try to cut him? I don't know, the knife would break. What about throwing him off a building? A random pillow delivery car would drive by at the right time to catch him. Mm. What if... You just really hate your grandfather, don't you? What? No! He's my second favorite grandfather! But you only have two... So this Novikov principle is keeping me away from sweet paradoxical goodness? Not just that. Multiple solutions for paradoxical problems have been proposed over the years. And aside from Novikov's self-consistency principle, a really popular one is the multiverse theory. Simply put, there's an infinite number of alternate realities existing at the same time, but in different dimensions, let's say. Each universe is different from the others, some by very little, others by a lot. So like, in one I'm blonde, but in another... The Earth is populated by lizard people. Cool, I guess? But what does that have to do with time travel? Well, since time traveling itself can cause a paradox, it would make more sense to instead travel to an alternate reality that is just now going through what is our past. So like, our 2017... Is there 1963? Exactly! So you can theoretically make any changes you want in that timeline without causing a paradox, and we don't have to experience reality imploding or getting stuck in an infinite loop or something. Wait... You said theoretically. Um, yeah, these are all just theories. For all we know, no one has ever time-traveled before, so we're just speculating what could and couldn't happen. Huh. Gotta go! No, don't! Dude! I got time travel powers! What? How? And why do I feel like we've been here before? Wow, you made it to the end of the video! Congrats! Now, you know what to do. See you next time!